Anthony had and the it's going to be deliberate handball there He's only giving by him Joe yellow. Willis. It looks in real time to us like that would have been a denial. Messi. the precision just bending away and Bravo can only watch and gets fingertips to it just to help it in the back of the net week in week out for Barcelona Messi when they need him most said if anyone in the world can pull this off it's that man and it's Messi goodness what's worse is that you were expecting this from Lionel Messi a free kick that is a penalty what did I say goalkeeper side smash it pick that out I mean that is side netting bending away over Mendez's head Galindez at full stretch and it's a messy masterpiece once again for Argentina Argentina, Ecuador, final semifinal berth on the line. Argentina ranked eighth in the world. Frustrate Argentina. Then you're going to see in the second half here. Oh, wow. That's a misplay ball pack. It's Lino Messi with a chance, and it hits the post. It's cleared away by Incapia. That was a defensive pass backwards. Messi was right there. Of course, they'll feel that Valencia chance should have gone in, but with the chance that they conceded to still be 0-0 for now. Messi into the space. Galindez. Their goal standing over it. Messi will hook this in. It's a header knocked down. The rebound is missed. Wow. Lucas Gonzalez there. Post 1v1. Valencia wins that header. Angel Meda has it. Man down behind the plate. Oh. The free header in front is missed. Valencia, Valencia left his marker injured behind the play. He again had a look at goal, but again couldn't hit the target. Yeah, there's some pressure now, trying to recover, is that a foul? No, it's not, Messi picks it up, hands back to the far side, Martinez buries it, ends the game! If anyone in the world can pull this off, it's that man, and it's Messi! <laughs> Ramirez, back heel, K, roll back in for Ramirez. What, what a goal. goal! What a performance! What a team! What a goal! What a goal! I mean, just the movement continuously. Ramirez as he picks this one up on the top of the box. Great first touch. Back heel, how about that? Let me get the return one. And he's onside. His arm is not a, a part of the body he can score with. So it's the, the other parts, and he is onside in this moment. But the, just the whereabouts. Mark Anthony K senses the movement. He moves into the attack. Nobody from Seattle just follows. They just fall asleep. 4-1. What a performance from LAFC once again. Seattle Sounders, third in the West, come in here. Rolling them over 4-1. This is the best team in Major League Soccer. I'm out. A giveaway from Zagadou. Lewandowski in behind. Robert Lewandowski! The Bundesliga 200 goal club has its newest member. Robert Lewandowski! 2-0 Bayern! Well, big matches call for big moments, but also discipline and concentration. And time and time again, we have seen this from Zagadou, the youngster. Lack of concentration, too slow in possession of the ball.
and just took his eye off the ball for a split second. You cannot afford to make mistakes like this when you're top of the table against the champions. It's an awful error from Zagadu. It's a poor pass. He's got absolutely no chance of getting a pass. Robert Lewandowski, who makes no mistake. In the sunshine, our nation's capital, DC United and Los Angeles FC are underway. Chance in the sequence for Vela to roll it in for Jordan Harvey. Is that an outstretched arm? It's a penalty. He makes the initial slide and he throws to ground. He, he does leave his left arm out there a little bit longer as part of that sliding motion. And Hamid is down to make the save. Second attempt off the post. Third attempt is blocked by Birnbaum. They're hesitating. Diamante able to win the ball quickly in for Vela. Birnbaum the defender. Vela back to that magical left foot and he scores. Never mind a save penalty. All he needs is the next chance. And LAFC take the lead. Every opportunity LAFC has had has been off of a direct. Vela's cross. Rossi scores. Diego Rossi there. Quick giveaway in the middle. Outside of the left ball from Vela. Alert is by Ariola though, then Kate picks it right back up in front of Canals, gets it away for Rossi! Oh, it is all LAFC! Flick that backwards there, and Lisa Gray having Rooney nothing to do with it, and then Rooney catching Diego Rossi. LAFC have had three opponents in their five games sent off. That is off the ground, that is a stud down the side of the ankle there. I mean, that could be a red card. No it's yellow. yellow. It's yeah. going to be a red. And he already knew it. He was handing off the captain's armband before the red card came out of Robert Zabiga's pocket. So Wayne Rooney has been sent off. Porta's out. A number of players. Timonde went off and Won that tackle. Ramirez now for Rossi. Sitting on a hat trick. Hamid couldn't keep it out. And Diego Rossi. Three goals today. This is all LAFC. This is a big, big statement made by Bob Bradley and his team. But they are for real. Now this is an example of what we were showing you earlier. If you don't get pressure on the midfield of LAFC, they're outnumbering Seattle three to two. You don't get help from Ladero and Jordan Morris. Fighting them right in the middle of your screen, both taken out of the play. And then what a ball that is for Mark Anthony K. Takes about six players from the Sounders out of the game. Carlos Vela one-on-one. -on -one. More often than not, that's in the back. It's really fascinating Chicharito's pathway that he has uh, that he has taken. I mean he was, people sometimes forget, the king, speaking of kings, the king of Germany and, and, and Bundesliga. And, you know, the grass is always greener and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, um, I think there is, uh, inevitably there's going to be a changing of, uh, of the guard and Tata's going to come in and it doesn't mean that Chicharito can't be important. I, I just always, when I watch Ch Chicharito play, I always tried to picture myself and he seemed predictable to me. Now, he was predictable, but he was also very efficient and was very, very good. But he never scared me in the way that there would be things that he would do that I wouldn't predict, you know, in a in a El Matador, Luis Hernandez type of way or something, uh, something like that, or a Borghetti type of thing who, you know, there was always something else there. And, I th and so maybe he was just he didn't have enough dimensions to his game. And it doesn't mean, like I said, that he can't, you know, still feature under Tata, but I think they're moving. Schalke going back to the future. Yeah, that's true. Here's Adams. And manages to pick up Pausen and plenty of running room. And the chip by Pausen. It's magnificent. A hat trick for Yusuf Pausen. Spectacular stuff. Well, it's his night, Powelson's night, in the Ost Derby. Leipzig are running away with this.
I mean, they've just switched to a back four and uh, Paulson had more space than than he's had in any of the other goals. And look at this, one long ball, great ball through the middle. And I think he was surprised how much space he had that he could run, but that's a fantastic finish. I never trusted myself to do something like that in the game, Derek. I, you know, I like to keep it low, keep it in the corners, and uh, but he goes for the chip, and, and that's not easy at that speed. Going back there, although you won't be there, I guess, but Alexi and I are looking forward to go back there. As Kane rolls it in, fail a great control, he scores! Now this is an example of what we were showing you earlier. If you don't get pressure on the midfield of LAFC, they're outnumbering Seattle three to two. You don't get help from Ladero and Jordan Morris. Right in, the, right in the middle of your screen, both taken out of the play. And then what a ball that is for Mark Anthony K. Takes about six players from the Sounders out of the game. Carlos Vela one-on-one. -on -one. More often than not, that's in the back. Christian Pulisic got a rare chance to shine on match day 32, but it wasn't enough for Borussia Dortmund in the title race. We break it down now. The man has been pining for an opportunity, pining for more playing time. He got it and he made the most of it. You see the best of Christian Pulisic here, the creativity. The courage, the speed, the quickness, and obviously the composure to finishing goal. And he showed up all day. Now, keep in mind, when the lineups came out, there was a possibility in terms of the formations yeah. that were listed. He would play right back. No, no, he didn't play right back. He set up shop again on that left-hand side, cutting in, getting shots, coming in late. Really good timing. You can see here, he just waits, he waits, he waits. He gets an opportunity here. Doesn't see it through. All right, gets a little uh, good bounce there, but another opportunity there. So for Christian Pulisic, this was the Christian Pulisic.